Hello, hello, hello. I am super excited with this new feature that has been added to Google My Business. It was added about six weeks ago, but it was only barely showing up on a few Google My Business um, info tabs. And so what I'm talking about is a profile short name. So it makes it easier for your customers to find and to follow your business on Maps and Search. And also you can use that profile short name link that Google provides you with to get more reviews. So woohoo, it all works out, right? So <clears throat> let me show you how to get here. From uh, your search bar, type in business.google.com. <clears throat> and if you're already signed into your Google My Business page, it'll go straight to manage locations like this if you manage multiple locations, or it will go straight into the dashboard um, of the Google My Business page that you manage <laughs> if you just have one. So once you're in the Google My Business dashboard, click on info on the left hand side in that menu. <clears throat> and then over here, it takes you into the info tab, which shows you all of the information, like as far as how you can put your business name in, what type of category you are, your name, your address, your phone number, your business hours, all that good stuff. <clears throat> But if you scroll down right underneath the phone number, it may be different, just a little bit different for you, but it should be right here underneath your phone number, you've got the profile short name. <coughs> click on, <coughs> excuse me, click on the uh, pencil and it takes you here. Now yours is gonna look a little bit different because you haven't set up your short name. It'll give you a suggestion and normally the su suggestion is your business name. So I would suggest using that or I would also suggest using the URL uh, username that you use for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. I'm sure you use the same <clears throat> username across the board so you have that like at acceleratemarketing.com um, field. I would suggest using that to put in here um, as your profile short name. Once you click apply, <clears throat> It'll take anywhere between 30 minutes to one hour to get accepted from Google My Business. So I would leave this tab up and just keep refreshing because you never know, they might change the time and might just refresh in 10 minutes. It just depends. <laughs> so keep refreshing that tab to check it out. Once that has been accepted, if you go to your home page or your dashboard um, <clears throat> and scroll down, sometimes, now this, I've noticed it goes all over the place. Sometimes it'll show up here, you scroll down, sometimes it'll show up down here, but what I'm referencing, oh, it moved because it was on the left side. Anyway, <laughs> um, where it says get more reviews, <clears throat> share your business profile and get new reviews from customers. See how it has your short name provided in here? So you just simply click on that. Now it says link is copied. And let me show you how cool this is. I'm going to open a new incognito window click on reviews. Um, <clears throat> let me sign in here. <clears throat> the reason why I am opening an incognito window is because <clears throat> if I were to open just a new tab, Google, uh, I'm signed in to my Google My Business page, so Google is gonna recognize that I'm already managing this account and it's not gonna show me uh, what I'm trying to show you. <clears throat> So I open an incognito window as if I'm somebody else just to see what it looks like in the public's eye view. And this isn't working. Uh, so let me try this one more time. <clears throat> Probably because I had to sign in. <laughs> it's, it was just working for me. So just give me a second to get this going. What I'm wanting to show you is that link that Google provides is it sends you directly to the um, rate and review us box so that you don't have to direct or give a client customer instructions on how to get to your reviews. So for example, you know, you have to tell them, well, first you need to sign into your Gmail account. After that, you need to type in my business name. After that, <clears throat> when you get to my business um, page, you then need to click on reviews. And once you get to reviews, you then have to click on the five star. Once you click on the five star, then it'll populate the review and you can leave me a review. I mean, who's gonna wanna go through all those steps, right? <laughs> so let me uh, try this just one more time because it was working beautifully. I'm going to copy my link, open up my incognito window, 
go here. Might be because I've already done this. Um, I'll sign in. <clears throat> Okay, just one second. Let me figure out what's going on as far as why it's not working. Okay, I figured it out. It's probably just because it's a fairly new feature, so it'll um, hit and miss, but I don't think that's the reason. I really think it's just because I manage this account and I'm trying to pull it up to show you. <laughs> so when you copy this link here, <clears throat> with your short, pri short um, profile, uh, profile short name, that's what it's called, with your profile short name, if you copy that, open up an incognito window, paste it in there, this is what I'm trying to show you, is this rate us and review us box. So it goes directly to what we call a Google Naked link. And so from there, that's how you can start collecting and gathering and asking for reviews and using that link. It works perfectly on mobile. I don't have my mobile set up, so I was just super excited, totally wanted to geek out about it and, and show you the new feature.